Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and I wanted to uh, let you guys know I I uh, had Maestria do some give me some help on this, and uh, this IWB2 learner tool. I made some changes. Well, he made the changes. I asked for them, and uh, two cup a couple things. Um, one is just it's bigger, right? Which which to me on a big screen i want to have it bigger um but notice here class now is available as its own edit field when you click on it right that that'll um isolate it now it's in the outer html you'll see it down here but i use it so much i wanted to have it in this just like name and id are because it's 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 so frequent that that's what i use for targeting um the second one is um when there's a frame and this is one of the things when you're not used to web scraping um, even when you are used to it these frames, sometimes when there's a frame, you don't realize it right away and you waste a lot of time. Um, so what I did was notice when there is a frame, oh, look, it's bright. Well, I shouldn't say bright red, but it's just red, right? So when, when there's stuff here, this is red and it'll try to help make it pop. I'm thinking about maybe even putting in like a, a message box or a tool tip or something because it's one of those things that like it can, you can waste some time if you don't realize there are frames. Um, thankfully now I don't waste too much time. I start looking at it and going, hey, why aren't I, oh, maybe there's a frame oh yeah there's a frame but when i first started doing this stuff frames um sucked and they still suck but it's just it's you don't realize it's even there and you don't realize you got to do something a little different when you see that so i'll make this script available on my website and i uh, hope you guys enjoy cheers